In this video, we're going to demonstrate the Citrix SD-WAN Orchestrator, which is a cloud-hosted multi-tenant management service for the SD-WAN solution. A few requirements for this demonstration, you'll need a Citrix Cloud account, which you can order on citrix.cloud.com. You will need to enable your accounts for SD-WAN Orchestrator access through communications with the product team. And lastly, you'll need a demo center environment pre-configured for you with Citrix SD-WAN MR5. So as you get your demo center environment, you'll get the environment details, which will give you access to an SD-WAN in the data center, in the virtual data center. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And you also have a branch office SD-WAN, which represents the virtual branch network. The credentials for those VMs are available in the provisioning email details. So we'll go ahead and log in using the supplied credentials. Now, as we look at the monitoring tab for the pre-staged environment, we can see that our virtualized path between the DC and this branch office one site, the virtual branch is up and active. Now with this demonstration, we want to eliminate that configuration and essentially use the SD-WAN orchestrator tool to rebuild the configuration and to deploy the network using that. Before we begin, let's take a look at the topology for this network. So you can use the pre-staged configuration to identify this exact topology, how the virtual branch network is set up in gateway mode, how the LAN interface on interface one is configured as a virtual IP as the gateway for that network. Similarly, on the virtual DC side, interface one is used with that particular virtual IP as the gateway for the DC network. And the respective interfaces of two connecting across as the MPLS link. Interfaces three are connecting across the WAN emulator for the internet link. And in this scenario on the branch, interface four is the LTE link that terminates to the DC internet link or interface four is configured as the second internet link at the DC that will connect to devices on-prem physical hardware devices from the virtual DC in demo center. Now essentially what we need to do is wipe out the current config and build our configuration using SD-WAN Orchestrator. So let's do that with SD-WAN Orchestrator first. So SD-WAN Orchestrator is a Citrix cloud service and as you log into your Citrix Cloud account that has been enabled for the SD-WAN Orchestrator, you will be able to log in to that tool as a cloud-hosted service. And as a service provider, you can go in and create new customer uh, information. So customer name, uh, a URL for a logo, contact info, administrator for that site. As you create your customer, the customer new customer will be in our customer list. I've already done this for the SD-WAN demo center environment, so I'll click into that, and we'll showcase this, essentially what that environment comprises of. And right now we just have our DC node and our branch office one node uh, configured. And you could add additional sites by clicking the new site button. When we click the new site button, it gives you information for input of an address which will be used in Google Maps to populate the, the map there with the appropriate location. We can give a site name and select from templates. In this case, we'll cancel that and look at the sites that we've pre-built. And, and as an exercise in this demonstration, you can go through and add new sites. And essentially, we're going to build the site to reflect the SD-WAN environment that we saw in the topology. And the first step is to fill in the site details. So populate all the fields that are required. So that being address, the site name, select the model. In this case, it's virtual uh, appliances, VPX models that we have in Demo Center. The DC site in Demo Center, we're gonna promote as the primary MCN, and we're gonna select 50 megs in license. You also can input the serial number of virtual appliances using Orchestrator. And in this case, you can obtain the serial number by navigating to the DC uh, web interface that the Demo Center environment provides. You can capture the serial number that's being advertised in the dashboard. So we'll go ahead and just manually copy that and paste it here. Make sure that you don't have any white characters or any special characters there. And then click Next. The next section is identifying the interfaces. So again, we go back to the topology, how the network is laid out for our DC site. The LAN interface, 
the virtual IP that we want to use for that interface. The respective WAN interfaces that we have, WAN 1 would be our MPLS link, WAN 2 would be our internet link, and WAN 3 would be that second internet link that we will connect on-prem devices into Demo Center. Essentially, that's interface 1, that's WAN link number 1, WAN link number 2, WAN link number 3. And after the interfaces are defined with the respective IP addresses, you go in and define the WAN link. So we want to create three WAN links, MPLS, Internet 1, Internet 2, with the respective speed and throughput, access interface IP, and gateways to match, again, the topology that we have laid out. And as you add those WAN links, you essentially have to go through the respective uh, required input fields to get those built out. It, it is a flat network in the DC subnet, so we don't have to add any special routes. And then you provide us, you look at the summary of that particular site. And once you've identified that everything is inputted properly, you click save. And now we can go in and, and do the same thing by creating a new site and we'll add branch office one. So again, it starts with the site detail, add the respective address, virtual appliance uh, as a selection and the proper and the appropriate serial number. So each SD WAN provisioned environment would get a unique serial number per DC BPX and branch office one BPX. So we want to capture that specific serial number, come into the orchestrator tool, and input that in. And again, make sure that there's no special characters or white spaces in place. And click next. And interfaces, again, we're, we're matching the topology with the respective interfaces that are available. The LAN interface, the, essentially the gateway IP for the branch office one network, WAN 1, WAN 2, WAN 3. And again, we are matching to the topology that we have predefined for that network. WAN 1, WAN 2, WAN 3, and the LAN interface and the respective IPs. Uh, and across the board, it's a slash 24 subnet. And we could show this page as well. If you add a new interface, you, you are selecting the deployment mode, what type of interface it is, the LAN versus WAN, whether you want to trust it or untrusted, the actual interface, any VLAN associations that you have and creating sub-interfaces. But we've already done that for our topology, so we'll go ahead and click Next. WAN links, again, you want to define the, the WAN links, MPLS, Internet 1, Internet 2. Uh, and Internet 2, in this case, is the LTE link that we're defining for our topology. It's a flat network, so no additional routes are needed. And then you associate or look at the summary of, of the site, and you make sure that everything is inputted properly. And you can save and click Done, which takes you to the, the actual deployment tracker where you can apply config and push the configuration out. Now, for again, for Demo Center, the environment has been pre-staged for us. Everything is pre-configured using SD-WAN Center, but we want to eliminate that configuration and use Orchestrator to push the configuration out. So what we need to do is bring these two VMs, the existing Demo Center virtual appliances for SD-WAN, into a factory state so that the SD-WAN Orchestrator can provision the, their configuration to them. So we'll go ahead and disable, uncheck the Perform option, disable the service, go to System Maintenance, Configuration reset. Okay, bring essentially we're bringing branch office one into a configuration reset state or a factory default state for configuration, so that we can use the orchestrator to push the configuration to it using that serial number as an authentication. Very similarly, we want to do the same thing for the DC site. So virtual WAN, enable disable purge flows uncheck the option to perform a dump and just disable the service. And you have to disable the service before you can do a configuration reset. And that's why you have to do it in that order and then apply the configuration reset. So as the configuration is being reset on these devices, we can wait for the administrative login to come up again. And we can log in and just confirm that the boxes are in a factory default state. And this is what you encounter when you deploy new boxes 
it will confirm the same on the DC DTX. Okay, so with factory default virtual appliances in Demo Center and our configuration built in our SD WAN orchestrator tool, we will deploy the solution using the service. Okay, and that begins by clicking apply config to the sites that we created. It takes you to the deployment tracker. And in the deployment tracker, you can verify the configuration that we just built. And in the verification stage, if there are any configuration errors or audit warnings, it will notify you there at that stage. And you will have to go back and, and modify the config as needed. But once that's complete, you can come back here and go through the process. So in this case, the verification passed successfully. We didn't make any input errors. We can stage the configuration. So by staging the appliance, what's happening on the back end is the virtual appliances in Demo Center are actually calling home to the cloud service and orchestrator. And they're downloading the configuration based on that serial number authentication that's taking place. So the devices, the virtual devices in this environment are being staged and configured. And essentially, similar to zero touch deployment, a temporary license is being installed any respective software that needs to be downloaded and updated to those devices, whether they're virtual or appliance or physical, they're being installed. And once the devices are ready and available, we can activate the deployment. So what we've done is fast forward the video here uh, as it completes the activation process. So it looks like BR branch office one, the activation is complete. Uh, data, data center two, the activation is still in process. process. Uh, now, this, this output would actually provide an admin visibility into the network to see uh, if there are any failures that occurred with that, with that activation process. Any error reporting would, would be outlined here, and the appropriate configuration change or underlay network adjustment can be done to accomplish that. But for any device that you deploy with Orchestrator, it essentially needs on that interface for management to connect out and call home to the zero touch deployment service. So if there's any firewalls that are in the path, um, they need to be opened up for port 443 um, for the communication between the device that's on-prem. In this case, their virtual appliances and demo center, which we have management access out to uh, the public cloud infrastructure and public internet. And if they're physical appliances, they essentially need the management interface to be able to call home. So with that communication in place, looks like both of those sites were successfully deployed. And in this case, we're leveraging the demo center environment. So all I have to do is click refresh here on this page and we can see that the configuration has been successfully installed. This particular device is the DC uh, site. And if I refresh here on this one, this one is the branch office one site. And again, the paths have been successfully established and the communication is in place. And um, the orchestrator has deployed successfully two virtual machines and established the virtual path between them using the configuration that we used in orchestrator. So at this point, the SD-WAN center is no longer functional for this environment. And going forward, orchestrator is the tool that we would use to manage this SD-WAN deployment.